friends, welcome back to Little Bless Nest. My name is Stephanie, if you're new here today. If you are new and you enjoy today's video, I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing and liking this video. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I am just drying my hair, straightening it, and getting ready for the day. I don't know about you guys, but it makes such a difference in my day when I get up and get myself ready and put some clothes on other than the ones that I slept in the night before. It just, I don't know, it helps get me motivated, helps make me feel put together. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm using my brush here to straighten my hair. You guys know I love this thing. It makes it so much easier, I feel like, than using my flat iron. And it really does a good job. You can see how frizzy my hair is, like underneath especially, like under the top, under the very top layer, it just gets frizzier and frizzier the closer to my neck that you get and that's just because my hair is much curlier underneath um, so this brush really does a great job of smoothing it all out so something different I've been using on my face lately is this foundation you may have seen ads for it on Instagram and Facebook and different places I see them all the time but it is Il Maquillage I believe is how you say it and this is the woke up like this 040 I really like this foundation. It's supposed to easily match the color of your skin. And I do feel like it has this weird applicator thing though. I don't really know what this is about. Of course, I may be using it incorrectly. I don't know, but I just take it and wipe it on my face like this. Get a little in your hair, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can of course blend it in with your fingers or a beauty blender I prefer to use a brush I just feel like it's the easiest and so that's what I do and I just buff it into my skin it does match my skin color really well you know it's very easy when you work from home or if you're home for health reasons or you're a caregiver or a stay-at-home mom whatever the reason is that you are home all the time it, it's very easy to fall into a rut and to just get straight out of bed keep your pjs on all day throw your hair up in a bun and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i do that as well but from experience i've learned that taking care of myself getting myself up and putting myself together really is very helpful for my mental health as well. When I was a caregiver for my husband, I really, for a long time, put myself on the back burner and didn't take care of myself like I should have. And uh, it eventually caught up with me. You may have heard that expression, you can't pour from an empty cup, I believe is how it goes. Meaning that if you're not taking care of yourself and you get run down, you're not going to be able to care for anybody else. You're not going to be able to do that job as well as you would if you were feeling your best. So while you may feel guilty spending time on yourself, maybe you should just look at it that way. Taking care of yourselves means that you can take better care of your family and your loved ones. Pamper yourself a little bit. Paint your nails if you haven't done it in a while. You know, give yourself a little facial Use some special lotions, like whatever it is that just gives you that little bit of boost, that little bit of, ah, uh, you know, like this was nice. Put on some good music that you enjoy, some maybe some Christian music or whatever it is that makes you feel better. And just take, you know, 15, 20 minutes at least and spend it on yourself to make yourself feel good. I have very thin lips, especially like my upper lip bottom one's not as thin but the top one is pretty thin so what you can do if you have thin lips is take your lip liner and outline around the very outside rim of your lips instead of on them so I will go right under my bottom lip there And then right on the outside edge of the top. And then I like to take mine and shade in the corners. And 
and right in the middle. And then I'll rub them together. This one is Revlon Color Stay Long Wear Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Blush. And then this lip gloss is actually a really cheap lip gloss. It's LA Colors. Um, can't really, Rose Petals, I believe is the thing of it, but this actually came from the Dollar General. So makeup doesn't always have to be expensive. So, what do you think? Do they look fuller? <laughs> All right, let's finish off my hair. So as you can see, by using my hair dryer and this straightening brush, it gets my hair nice and straight and smooth, but it is a little flat. It just kind of lays flat to my head. I have trouble getting volume in my hair. So I was really excited when Better Not Younger reached out and wanted to work with me. They actually sent me their wake up call bundle, which included their volumizing shampoo, volumizing conditioner, and this high hold thickening hairspray. They create their products with more mature women in mind. If you will remember, if you've been with me for a while, last year I had a lot of trouble with hair loss. I lost so much hair. I've, all my life I've had really thick, strong hair um, and last year it just all of a sudden started falling out by the handfuls and I wasn't sure why. I'm not sure what caused it. I still am not sure. I made some different changes. Eventually it started growing back in. Even my hairdresser when I went to get my hair cut and colored noticed it. She was like, oh my gosh, what has happened to your hair? I had a bald spot pretty much back here right on like I think that's like the crown of your head, right? And I noticed about a month ago that it started happening again. But I also know that I'm changing, I'm getting older, your body changes and also your hair changes. Your scalp doesn't develop as much oil as it used to when you were younger and that makes it more difficult and causes, you know, hair loss, breakage, dullness, all the things that kind of drives us crazy, right? So I was really excited to work with this brand because I obviously want to share products with you that I think would be helpful because I know when I was talking about my hair loss I had so many of you in the comments say that you are having the same thing or that you had been through the same thing so if I can find a product that helps me I know it will help you as well so I'm proud to share this with you today um, I have been using the, like I said the shampoo conditioner and the hairspray first of all my hair is so much softer it just feels I don't know it's so different it feels so soft it smells good it has a smell kind of like when you're at the salon and they put shampoo in your hair it's what it reminds me of it has a good smell to it it doesn't take a lot of the product and then the hairspray is my favorite you guys know how it is when you buy the cheaper drugstore hairsprays you spray it on your hair and your hair gets that stiff almost crunchy feel to it you can't run a brush through it and you know it's just a pain so that's one reason why I don't typically use a lot of hairspray but they sent me this and I was so impressed with it this is the wake up call high hold thickening hairspray so you just spray this in your hair and it gives you the feeling and the look of thicker hair so what I do is I spray it right here on like my hairline and I kind of just use my fingers and kind of jizz it up a little bit like this just to give me some volume and so my hair isn't laying flat to my head you know and then I just kind of smooth it out a little bit and then I spray the rest of my hair because this also helps with frizz it helps your hair lay well so you can see how it gives my hair more body and more volume it's not laying flat to my head but at the same time I can run my hands through it and it doesn't feel like hairspray like let me show you I can even see that it's not sticky it's not crunchy it's not any of those things I'm highly impressed this is 
my number one. This is my favorite. I will continue to use these products even after the sponsorship. After it's done, I will order more because I really do feel like it's that good and I know that it's good for my hair. So if you are experiencing some of the things that I am at the age of 44, I definitely suggest investing in some higher quality hair products and the ones that I am suggesting to you is the Better Not Younger brand because aging is beautiful. We don't have to look younger to be beautiful. Better Not Younger is giving you guys a 10% discount code. Just click the link in the description box below and use my code STEPHANIE10. Quiet! Y'all, I am the absolute worst aunt ever. <sighs> my sister asked me to get the kids off the bus because she had to take the babies to the doctor. So I was supposed to be here at 3.15 to pick them up and I was editing a video, sitting on my couch, and fell asleep. And I woke up at exactly 3.15, which is when I was supposed to be here. And my sister does not live close to me. She is like 25, 20, 25 minutes from me. Um, so I rushed over here. <sighs> They're not here. They are not here. They must have kept them on the bus. Either that or the bus has not ran yet. Oh my gosh, give me one job, one job. Here comes the school bus, oh my gosh, they hadn't got off yet. Thank you, Lord, oh my gosh. Y'all, my heart was pounding out of my chest. Hi, babies. <laughs> I've collected the children. <laughs> Hug me. I thought that y'all done got off the bus and y'all was sitting here scared by yourselves. I was so worried. This one. This one is my sweetie, aren't you? Yeah, I love you. Hi. You been to the doctor? Yeah. Oh, was you a big girl? Did you get a sucker? Yep. Yay, high five. Good job. Where's, where's, where's Sasa? I'm going to take my penny one. I, I, I go to the doctor. Are you finally back home? <laughs> Did you have a fun time at the doctor? Yeah. You yeah. did? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're well, <laughs> You're so sweet and special. Tell them, say, I'm beautiful. And Tell them, say, I'm beautiful. No. Are you beautiful? No. Are you a big girl? No. Are you a good girl? Yeah. And you beautiful? Yeah. I'm getting big so I can go to school. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting big so you can go to school? Yep. Yep. You got. Where's your apple? You didn't get an apple? You got a cookie? Yeah, <sighs> What'd you get? An apple. You got an apple? Yep. We're just sitting here on the couch eating apples and watching Frozen. You like apples? Yep. Me too. My, my mama does like apples. Your mama does? Yep. Me too. <laughs> you like apples? Yeah. What? I love you. I love you too. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. She said she thought yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> let it go, let go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Let it go. Pippity poppity boo. Is that what you're saying? Pippity poppity boo. <laughs> See your wand? Yeah. And the poppy seed <laughs> I can say my word. Say your word? <laughs> Bippity boppity boop. All right, my friends, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. I hope you have a great week ahead. If you're having bad weather wherever you are, please stay safe and warm. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.